yo 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 before we get into the video just want y'all to know that i made a patreon and there's a lot of cool like perks like uncensored videos and being on a patreon list thank you to all my patrons they're right here you guys are awesome uh the link will be in the pinned comment and description all right let's get into the video i like to do a lot of comparing and contrasting on this channel for instance how it is being poor versus being rich how it is working at a retail job versus fast food or how it is working at a regular ass nine to five opposed to corporate i mean i've talked about a ton of different things today i want to compare how it was for me at least working at jobs on my first day as opposed to after a few months let's say 100 days for the sake of the title now your boy sin he's held a ton of different jobs you know whether it's fast food retail working at gamestop walmart target uh chicken plants i still want to do a chicken plant video that shit was terrible or when it was going into the medical field doing cna stuff and then all the way up to nursing you know i've done a ton of different things and now i do youtube videos which is a different beast and a different job in of itself might have to do a day in the life of a youtuber video soon because oh uh, lord hey, anyways there's a ton of different things that i do so i want to talk about a specific job today okay now your boy Sanders worked at a ton of jobs i want to talk specifically about a job that was a little stressful well, i've talked about this job before it was red lobster now your boy sin you know eventually lost that job because he broke a dishwasher don't ask just go watch the video it is too much to explain so i want to tell y'all about how it is working there on my first day as opposed to day 100 okay so the first day like any job you go to for your first time and how you are in your interview how you are just going in to turn the application in bro you code switching a lot you on your p's and q's you on your best behavior There's some shit like this hey hey how's everyone doing today yo what's up with this dude man why he acting like spongebob when he ain't had no creases on him like motherfucker. what's good bro Huh, how are you doing? Well, my name is Sincere. Uh, I'm working here today. I'm actually going to be hosting. Are, are you guys going to be my uh, companions? Companion? Yo, what is this dude on right now, bro? What is he talking about, companions? Yo, what's up with him? Yo, this your man's? Man, that ain't my man's, man. I, I mean, I, I did help him get the job. You know what I'm saying? And that is my man's. Oh, Pee Wee, what's going on, buddy? Yo, yo Sin, you're acting weird right now. Yo, what, what's up with you, bro? Like, like. Like, you, you, you good? Yo, yo, I'm trying to be on my best behavior, bro. I don't want to lose this job. Motherfucker, you working at Red Lobster? You not? Yo, yo, keep it down. Bro. Chill, chill. Oh, hey, boss. How you doing? This is my boss. We're going to call him Ryan. Now, Ryan was a good boss. I mean, he was kind-hearted. He understood a lot. He did a lot for us. The problem with Ryan is, you know, sometimes Ryan was a little bit too high maintenance like uh there was this one time we had this party of 30 come in that was supposed to go up on the deck and ryan's one of those guys where it's like when a big party comes in he's all over it like uh like what on rice or or white people on just salt and no other seasoning okay my fault but anyways like for instance this is what happened hey ryan how you doing today uh we have a party of 30 party of 30 <sighs> Okay, everybody, all hands on deck, okay? Everybody relax. Uh, sir, we're, we're all kind of relaxed. It seems you're the only one that's out of sorts right now. <sighs> Sincere, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I've taken two Adderalls and I drank a Red Bull earlier. I am tweaking right now. Sir, are you a drug addict? I, I mean, <sighs> Listen, all I'm going to say is my playlist is 90% Juice World. okay? That's all I'm going to say. Now, it, 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 that's besides the point. We got to get, get on it, man. Like, we got to do this, and we got to clean, and then, and then we got to... As you can see, this guy is really spastic, bro. He's super, like, strung up. It, it's weird. I, I don't know if it was the drugs or just the fact that it is what it is. But because of this, bro, I was always on my P's and Q's. Every time he asked for something, I'm on it. Hey guys, I I need uh need some help over here, huh, sir? Uh, I'm here. What do you need? Where did you come from? I, anyways, uh, can you uh do me a favor and clean up table 16 through 21? We got a party coming in. We're gonna have to put those tables in. All right, sir. I already cleaned them. What the fuck? No, you, you you definitely didn't clean those tables. Hold, hold on. Let me go, let me go check it. This motherfucker really cleaned them tables. Bro, how did you do that so fast? Sir, I, I don't know. I, I've been watching The Flash on the CW lately. I've been on my fast shit. 
what bro I'm, I'm telling you no matter what it was i was on my p's and q's probably for the first like month or so okay uh, month two into month three i started easing up some but once i was there past my 90 day probational period uh, let's just say things changed a bit started going to work and uh i wasn't your average sin anymore i was different i evolved into it yo yo what the fuck is going on red lobster hey what's good peewee yo sin what's good cuz you know what the fuck going on hold down the host me know what i'm saying holding it down and all that been taking these motherfuckers to their tables and shit getting this money up not my funny up man you know your boy peewee get to the money on man facts 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 hey uh hey ryan by the way, bro, um, I'm taking off tomorrow. Uh, Sin, you can't just take off like that. Hey, man, look, bro, I got a doctor's appointment. I can't come in. I'll bring a doctor's note if you need it, but I'm definitely not coming to work, bro. Just keep it a band with you. Uh, but anyways, uh, what we need to do? Uh, yeah, man, the table's in the back. They dirty, you know what I'm saying? So if you go clean those up while I hold the front down. All right, baby, baby, I got you, I got you. I ain't cleaning them fucking tables, man. I'm about to go back there and get on TikTok, nigga. You failed me. Damn, bro. There ain't shit on TikTok right now. What was I supposed to be doing? Man, as you can see, bro, I, I didn't give a fuck. But I was just doing whatever at that point, man. Once I knew that I wasn't going to get fired for just any old thing, I was not with none of that shit. Motherfuckers out here telling me, <laughs> she keep ain't this, she keep ain't no hitter. Nigga, shut the fuck. All right, my fault. That was crazy. But I ain't going to lie to y'all, though, bro. After that, I didn't really give a fuck, man. I was kind of holding the job down however I wanted to. I had two jobs at that point, bro. And the other job, I was getting paid way more money. So if they did let me go, shit, I wasn't even going to give a fuck. Hey, Ryan, what's good with you, boss? Hey, man, uh, question. Why are you always wearing this dumbass fit in here, man? Excuse me, Sin? Yeah, bro, you always wearing this stupid ass jacket with your name on it. That shit all hide up. It looked like uh, the same sweater that SpongeBob was singing about. And I'm gonna keep it a band with you. The best time to wear a striped sweater is on Ryan's back. Your jacket got a collar. Giraffe neck. That motherfucking big as shit. And then you walk around with these speaker your ass shoes in the kitchen, man. Them joints is annoying. God damn, squeaky bob ass shoes. Sin, Sin, you can't talk to me that way. Sin, Sin, you can't talk to me. Man, all right, bro. Hey, listen, though, everybody in the kitchen, man. There is no biscuits in this motherfucking container. Now, you know damn well we got to keep the cheddar biscuits on deck for the motherfucking guests. Y'all out here making goddamn lobster biscuits, ship a dream making the goddamn cheddar biscuits. How come us up front ain't getting cheddar biscuits? You know what I'm saying? You giving these random ass motherfuckers cheddar biscuits, but the fam don't get cheddar biscuits. That was a Boondocks reference. I hope you guys are cultured. But as you can see, bro, I mean, I wasn't that bad. I'm embellishing a little bit, you know, to entertain you guys. But I, to be honest, I was so lax with that shit. I just didn't really care anymore. A lot of the differences is, you know, things change. I had a better job on the back end. So if they let me go, didn't give a fuck. But also, I had been there so long that you just get to a point where you're kind of just so cool with everybody that it doesn't really matter what you do. I mean, they're definitely not happy that you're just doing what you want. I'm being honest. They're actually pretty upset about it. But at the same time, who the fuck is going to stop you, bro? I like you and I want you. Now we can either do it the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. You know what I'm saying? And I chose to do it the easy way, bro. Fuck that. And that's what it's like being at a job on day one versus being at a job on day 100.